My friend is back is back here on the Rich Eisen Show on the Mercedes-Benz Van phone line. Uh, getting set to join the NFL Network first night coverage of the draft for a 10th consecutive year. The head coach of Stanford football, David Shaw, back here on the program. How are you doing, coach? I'm doing great, Rich. How are you? Are you locked in on the Tiger coverage? Is that what's going on right now? The good Stanford man that you are? Probably me and most of America at least have it on some device right now. Right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. He looks amazing. Now, do you have any contact with him at all? Does he have any contact with Stanford uh, football program in any way, shape, or form whatsoever? Yeah. Coach? We, we, we touch base a few times a year. Um, he came to visit us, actually, because we played at Central Florida a couple years ago, right not too far away from his home, and came and had, gave a great speech to the guy and brought a green jacket and really uh, really inspired a lot of our guys, which was awesome. What do you mean? He brought he brought a jacket with him? Is that what you're saying? Really? He, he brought a green jacket uh, to show the guys, and it was kind of going to be a little bit of a surprise, and you know, he was talking about playing at a high level and playing for high stakes, and he... Uh, had it in a bag, gave a great speech to the guy, and he pulled out and a lot of oohs and ahs, and he actually let me put it on my oh. on my back. I, 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 my skin was like, it's just shivering. Wow. Uh, Come yeah, on. Yeah, that's... Come on. Probably... Yeah, yeah, top, top ten, top ten non-football uh, athletic moments in my life. No, I, I mean this is this is you don't even you're you're a humble man, but you should this is, just take the humble out, just brag, just say it with your chest, especially that's since amazing. now how did it fit? It fit, it fit like a glove, right? You and Tiger have the same have the same uh, dimensions, right, Coach? Yeah, uh, you know, lengthwise it's really close. <laughs> um, I'm a little thicker in some areas than he is. And he's a little bigger in some areas than I am. What about the shoulders? Come on, it's got to fit the whole thing. This is fast. Uh, the shoulders are close, but he's he's done a lot more uh, a lot more weight room work than I have over the last ten years. I'm wondering how many people have actually been able to say that they have worn a Tiger Woods one, and also brought to the occasion by Tiger Woods Tiger Woods Masters Championship jacket. I can't imagine that's a large number of people. Coach. It's surreal, absolutely surreal. Wow. Absolutely I love it. So uh, I'm assuming one of the devices that you might be watching Tiger on right now is not your iPad, because I know that you have that out in front of you for the NFL Network draft coverage all the time. And that's on, on, on to which you put all your information. I know. Oh, that, absolutely. Right? So, absolutely. I'm, I'm about 90 percent done with my preparation no, already. Are you? I love it. Well, okay. I only have to do the first round, so I don't have to do as many as everybody else. Correct. But, well, you only yeah. do the cream of the crop. I mean, you're Stanford. That's, you know, only only certain people get on your radar screen in, in real life, David Shaw. So I understand. That's all you're we do. That. That's all we do. <laughs> <laughs> so let's jump into it. Who Who's jumped off a of film to you? I, I mean, and I know that there, you know, Kayvon Thibodeau, for instance, is somebody with clearly you are very familiar with his work. But who has jumped off the film to you where you were like, okay, didn't see that before, or this means something to move up a draft board? Who, who's that guy so far, David Sean? For you? I, I love Evan Neal. I really do. To be that big, that long, that smooth, um, you know, reminds me a lot of the greats that play tackle in the NFL where it, it looks easy. Um, just looks easy the way he can change direction and deal with a secondary pass rush and physical enough in the running game to move people. Um, that's he's, he's, he was really fun to watch. And besides that, I mean, obviously, um, Aiden Hutchins, but actually both guys at Michigan, uh, appreciate how hard they play snap after snap after snap variety of pass rush moves. Cause your, your, your first move is not always going to be the one that wins, but you see a lot, they can do a lot of different things. So, um, those those three guys really got me excited. How about that? Okay. And so um, your thoughts on the quarterback class. I know we've kind of kicked the tires on that last time you were on about a month ago, but now that you are definitely part of the NFL Network coverage, um, I couldn't be more excited about it. What, what do you make of this quarterback draft class, David Shaw? I think Kenny Pickett is ready to play. Um, I think he's – if you don't think he's spectacular, that's fine. Um, but the guy's a really good quarterback. Um, hand size doesn't bother me because he throws the ball accurately. Um, accurate, good athlete, tough kid, smart kid. Um, the rest of the class to me is like flares of ice cream. You know, what, what, what are you looking for? What fits you? There's some guys with high ceilings um, like Malik Willis, uh, Desmond Ritter, that maybe aren't 100% ready to jump into an NFL team and play. 
but there's some height. Uh, there's there's a height up there uh, athletically and ability wise that you can see some things that they may be able to do in the NFL. I like Matt Corral. Last time we talked, uh, I, I still really do. He's got some athleticism. He plays with a fire. He plays with an energy. He can generate power um, from different body positions, which you're going to have to in the NFL. Um, and I like Sam Howell as, as well. But for a lot of those guys outside of Kenny, it's now what are you looking for and what fits your system? So let's just jump into the the crux of it. What we're going to be talking about is we're apparently going to be in front of the Bellagio Fountains on uh, three weeks from tonight, David Shaw. Um, like, we, you know, like we're in Ocean's Eleven together. So, um, what, what, one of my favorite movies, by the, by the way. Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, one of the all timers. I don't know if you're aware, uh, but we are we are going to we are breaking in uh, to the casino that night uh, as well. <laughs> um, so, uh, just as just, long as I'm not the one that goes in the thing that that he has to come out of. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. As long as I'm not that guy, I'm all in. Yes, you're not the grease man. Don't worry, I'll be the grease man. <laughs> so, um, but uh, when it all comes down to it, it's going to be Panthers on the clock, sixth overall, unless somebody. He's already traded up into the fifth spot. The Giants are rumored to say, "Come, come, get this pick if you want Pickett." Um, do let's just say Pickett's chosen by the Panthers, sixth overall. They don't have another choice till the fourth round. What would you say? Like, let's like I guess rehearse. Would you say that this is the proper maneuver for a Panthers team that already has Sam Donald sitting there? What do you think? Uh, I, it would just say a lot about how they feel about Sam Donald. Obviously. Um, Sam, and you know, I've talked about Sam for multiple years now. Yes. When Sam has time and Sam has receivers, he is accurate. He's athletic. Um, he's got good size. He's a tough son of a gun. He's taken a lot of hits over the last few years. He always bounces back. He's never shied away. Um, so organizationally, they would just be saying, hey, we're ready to move on and take Kenny. And I think either path to me makes a lot of sense because there's a lot of things around that position. Um, first of all, you give whoever's playing quarterback a healthy Christian McCaffrey, which Christian came to visit us last week, and he feels great. You give him a healthy Christian McCaffrey, maybe get one more weapon. You've already got a couple of really good receivers, and maybe get a tight end, um, the, a little more athletic tight end. And now you've got a quarterback with some guys around him that can make some things happen. So um, Kenny would be a great pick, in my opinion. I think he's the most ready to play. Um, he's tough. He's smart. He's accurate. Um, he plays with a little funk, a little spunk, a little fire. Um, I think that would be a good fit. All right, I'll bite a little bit more. You said you saw McCaffrey. He looks great. I mean, what? What? Give me a little bit more on that, Coach. Uh, uh, NFL Comeback Player of the Year. Is that too early? Oh. Do we have to wait? A, we have to wait to watch him uh, work out. Uh, but yeah, Kirsten spent some time here back at Stanford. Um, good talk with our guys. He and I sat down and talked for a little bit. He just he looks great. He's got that fire in his eye, and. Just like all the greats, you give him something to battle, right? He's coming off of an injury. Um, people are now talking about, is he going to get traded? What's all this stuff? And he's got that fire right now, and he is, he is ready. Um, that's all I can say. I know he is ready and excited to start the offseason. No, I know. And the question about him, David, um, is are, are, are we seeing just a, a case of just terrible luck, just awful luck? for the Panthers, for him, for football fans, because of how dynamic he is. Obviously, there's the fantasy aspect that, you know, in real life doesn't matter. But, you know, are we just seeing somebody who's terribly unlucky or the manifestation of the question marks that surrounded him when he was drafted out of your program that when it all comes down to it, the grind of an NFL season will grind him down, you know? Uh, my opinion right now, which I'm not going to pretend that I'm not biased, right, uh, is, is that it's been bad luck. You really watch Christian McCaffrey play, he doesn't get hit squarely very often. Um, there are a lot of glancing blows, so it's not like he's been beaten up. He had an ankle that he tried to play through that he couldn't play through. Um, that happens a lot of different positions. So I don't see a running back that's taken a lot of pounding that you say, man, he's not going to be able to hold up. Um, this guy's already broken multiple NFL records. Um, he's had a couple of instances of, of just being a football player and getting dinged up. Um, but he is quick, still quick, explosive, athletic. It's not like one of those running backs where he's lost a step and you don't think he can do what he used to do. Um, the cat, this cat is still young. 
and he's ready to explode on the scene. Stanford football head coach uh, David Shaw, he's going to be on uh, the NFL Network Thursday night draft set three weeks from tonight for the first round of the NFL draft for 10th straight season right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, you mentioned different flavors, right, for quarterbacks or what, what flavors team, teams like. Uh, give me give me the uh, the wide receiver class, and who's your flavor? Who do you think is the, the class here that might be top 10? Um, and, and then a, a nice little steal later on in the first round of a draft where you know the Packers and Chiefs who just lost Devon, or traded away Devontae Adams and Tyreek Hill uh, are right. sitting there. What do you got for me on that front? Coach. Well, as much as it pains me to say anything positive about somebody from USC, I do <laughs> like Drake London. Um, big, athletic, and his his ceiling, we don't really know what it is because he's really just getting into his own as a football player. This guy was a basketball player that's picked up football, that's really worked at it um, for a big guy. He's got great agility. He's got a ridiculous catch radius, hand-eye coordination, um, physical, hard to tackle after the catch. Um, but I go back and forth between he and James, uh, Jameson Williams. Um, I love the speed and athleticism of Jameson, the way he can just, I mean, four or five strides, he's already eaten up the cushion of defensive backs. He gets down the field in a hurry. He can stop and start. Um, some health concerns, but uh, the film tells me that, that these two guys uh, are, the, are the class of the group. But I do like Garrett Wilson, Wilson also from Ohio State. That guy that can be in the slot, he can be outside, he can be your fly sweep guy, your reverse guy, your receiver screen guy, your run after catch guy. There are a lot of different things uh, that he can do, and I love versatility at the receiver position. So uh, let's uh, assume those three guys will not be available when the Packers and Chiefs pick. Who, who do you like down on that end of things? Yeah, then after those three guys for me, then it's what are you looking for, right? Chris Olave downfield explosive receiver um uh, maybe not the over the middle guy maybe not the short short area guy but can really make some big plays down the field um i like Traylon burks from arkansas bigger guy physical guy plays inside um can be your possession plus not just a possession receiver because he can make big plays and he's good after the catch um and then Jahan dotson from penn state um good in the slot quick athletic um, he's one of those guys, if you're in a lot of three and four receiver sets, he can really work the middle and get away from guys and create some separations for, for your quarterback. All right, David Shaw, you know, um, as much as I'm a team player, I mean, you, you, you sat to my left now for uh, now coming up on a decade. You, you, you know what it's all about for me. Uh, fourth overall selection. Uh, New York Jets are on the clock. Um, what, what, do you, what, do, what do you think? What's the best scenario for them fourth overall? What do you think? I've got my I've got my thoughts. I've got some very definite thoughts, uh, but what do you think, David Shaw? What do you got? It, it, it's it's so tough when you have no offense, but you got a lot of areas that you could really no attack. Offense. No offense, Teddy. You can make a case for Kyle Hamilton, um, a serious difference maker at the safety position um, after losing Jamal Adams. Um, Kyle Ham- Hamilton, for me, probably top three safeties that I've seen doing this thing in over a decade. Mm. Um, this guy, I don't care what his 40 time is, he comes out of the middle and makes plays better than anybody, um, pretty much anybody that I've seen. So that's a difference maker, somebody back there that can make a difference on that level. There are defensive linemen and outside linebackers aplenty. Uh, to take your pick, to pick your poison, any of those guys. Um, I like Jermaine Johnson, maybe a little bit high from Florida State, but I really like him. Um, so there are a lot of places in particular on the defensive side that I think are going to be good to choose from. You didn't say my guy. I'll tell you who I, I like, David Shaw. I want sauce. Bring me sauce. Bring me sauce. Fourth overall, when you got Stephon Diggs signed forever and a day in Buffalo, Tyreek Hill coming to Miami, and then uh, th- that that allows the Dolphins to tell the Patriots of all teams, take another guy from us. Let, let De- Devontae Parker do what Wells Welker did for you from us. Uh, I want some kid who's just say, hey, I'll take him. That's what I want. What do you think about that notion? I think that would be great. And the injury concerns about Stingley, you can make a case for him as well. But I, I think Sauce Gardner is, is special. Long, fast, athletic, um, and a guy that you don't have to help. Right? You should be able to leave him over there. and He can run with anybody. He's got size. He's got ball skills. Um, apparently, he just doesn't allow touchdowns either, which is a, a big thing. <laughs> yes, that's a good – he reminds him. Well, he's got the body type of another Stanford man, right? 
um, that in in Sh- in Richard Sherman, that's the the guy that you you think of, or unless I'm 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 doing too much of comp work, I should stay out of that lane. What do you think? No, no, you're not that far away. The the forty time a lot of times can be mitigated by the length, um, and so the difference between four six and four five or four five and four four can be mitigated if your your reach is like seven feet tall. Um, and this guy's got length. He's got a great feel for the game. Uh, he's physical. He's not going to back down for a single human uh, from a single human being on the planet. Um, so I, I think that would be a great pick. All right. Is this? And again, you, you know what? By the way, gents, what you're getting is David Shaw. You know, uh, at his finest right here. But many times, David will then turn to me in a commercial break, saying, "Yeah, you're off on that one." You know, <laughs> the, if this was a commercial break, you wouldn't be giving me that one, right? This is. Well, we're always on the same page on kickers and punters. Though. <laughs> Always on the same page. I appreciate that. Uh, your spring game's coming up around the corner, correct? For Stanford yes, football? Yes, this Saturday. Okay. What do you got for me? You got any, what, what, do you, what do you think about your team? Give, me, give Stanford football fans a little morsel before I let you go, David Shaw. Well, we are, we are in an interesting spot coming back off of a difficult year. The best thing for us is we had a lot of guys that could have gone pro or could have gone on the portal. A lot of guys came back. Uh, we've got a great mentality on our football team, and we may have a special quarterback on our hands in Tanner McKee. Um, he's got size, he's got athleticism, he's accurate, he's got a strong arm, and we're going to have a pretty good cast of characters around him. So uh, things are looking up out here at Stanford. All right, Coach David Shaw, greatly appreciate it. I will see you in Las Vegas, Nevada. I look forward to yeah. it. Can't wait. Me too. Right back at you. That's Coach David Shaw, one of my favorite people right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.